In this video, we are going to present how the consciousness-based model can be used to derive one of the most famous equations in physics, Einstein's E equal to mc squared, which expresses the equivalence between mass and energy. However, before we proceed, as a reminder to those unfamiliar with the model, that the model we are discussing here is very different from the other models out there. This is a consciousness-based model of the cosmos in which we assume that there is only consciousness. There is no physical reality behind any perception of the cosmos by consciousness. Time, space and matter are all creations of consciousness in consciousness. They are apparently real, but they are not physically real. In particular, you may refer to the two videos on the simplified model and the discussion on physics concepts that has been presented earlier. The links are given in the description below. In short, the model has the following characteristics or features. 1. There is a perpetual appearance or recreation of the entire space and matter, moment to moment. 2. Each recreation of space is instantaneous. 3. Space is continuous and infinite. And finally, four, time is discrete and perpetual. The mass-energy equivalence equation was first mentioned by Einstein in 1905 in one of his papers in a slightly different form. It received criticism because of the use of circular logic. The equation itself is correct and it has been proven countless times in many experiments. The problem lies with its derivation. After 1905, Einstein had spent a good 40 years to come up with many attempts to derive the equation, none of which he was really satisfied with. This effort continues today, but so too are the usual criticism of using circular logic or round statement or the derivation being valid only for some specific cases or that it is just an approximation. We are not sure if there has been anyone who has succeeded where Einstein had failed. This state of affair, which quite amazingly has actually lasted more than a hundred years, has prompted some physicists to conclude that the derivation of the equation is simply not within the purview of relativity. In other words, trying to derive the equation using relativity is simply a futile exercise. The more modern and complete version of the equation is given by the following. This is more complete because it can be used for both particle with mass and without mass. However, for the purpose of this presentation, we are going to stick to the simpler and more traditional form, which is E is equal to mc squared. We are going to derive the equation by considering a simple case of a particle P of mass m being brought from address to velocity v equal to c, the speed of light. Do note that the concept of a relativistic mass m equal to gamma m0 is no longer being used by most physicists. Therefore, the objection that a particle with mass cannot be brought up to the speed of light is not quite applicable. In any case, such a scenario is not prohibited as far as the model is concerned. From classical mechanics, we can easily derive the following. Energy is related to work done, which is the integral of f dx from 0 to d. By changing a variable, we arrive at the final form E is equal to m multiplied by the integral of v dv from 0 to v. If space and time are both continuous, then it is inevitable that integrating the above from v equal to 0 to v equal to c will result in the following e is equal to half mc squared. This is because the integral of v dv is half v squared. No matter how high the acceleration is, the final answer will always remain half mc squared. Unless of course the acceleration is assumed to be infinite, which is the same as saying that the time taken for the acceleration is zero. This is of course impossible in a physical reality-based model 
which assumes that both space and time to be continuous. Using the model, we are going to get a different result. To depict this simple case, as far as the model is concerned, we just need two appearances of the cosmos. Let's call them C1 and C2. C1. Particle P of mass M appears at a certain location. It has the velocity V equal to zero. C2. Particle P appearing at another location with velocity V equal to C, the speed of light. It must be remembered that for the model, there is no real motion. Motion is only apparent when P appears in a different location at the next instance of the appearance of the cosmos. Real distance travel and real time taken are both always zero. Since time is discrete in the model, we can perform the following simplification. The integral is replaced with a summation with only two distinct values for the velocity, 0 and c. This will give us the final result, e is equal to mc squared. Graphically, the two e's that we have obtained can be represented as follows. So there you have it. From the perspective of the consciousness-based model, the mass energy equivalence is a simple equation requiring an equally simple derivation.